So now that we're being forced to move from the Origin app to the EA Desktop app, you might be trying to currently install this. However, seeing as you're on this video means that you're currently getting an error message when trying to install the EA app. So in this video, we will be taking a look at a few different methods that you can do to fix the error that you're currently getting so you can finally install the EA Desktop app and get back to playing your favorite games. So thank you EA for creating a new app that a lot of users are currently unable to install. What a thumbs up that is. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. Once you're on this page, you now need to select x64. That's if you've got a 64 bit version of Windows. If you don't, then you need to select x86, which is the 32 bit version. If you're not sure what version of Windows you have, then I will pop a link in the description below where you can check out our guide on how to find this out. So once you clicked onto the .exe to download it, you then need to run the setup file. You then need to click on I agree and go install. That's if you do agree to the terms, of course. This is now going to install and update Microsoft Visual C++ from 2015 to 2022. Allow this to run. Once it's finished installing, then go ahead and try and run the EA Desktop app installer again and see if it resolved the issue. If that didn't resolve the problem, you do need to restart your computer after this is installed. If that didn't resolve the problem, then the next thing that you need to do is go to File Explorer and you then need to click in the address bar. Now do the percentage symbol and you then need to type in program data and you then need to do the percentage symbol again and press enter on your keyboard. So you now need to scroll down until you come across EA Desktop and Electronic Arts. So we're actually going to rename these two folders. So you need to right click on the folder and go rename and just put BK on the end for backup. You then need to do the same for the next folder. Simply type BK and we then need to go back up to the address bar and you now need to do the percentage symbol again and this time you need to type local app data and you then need to do the percentage symbol again and press enter. This is now going to take you to your personal user profiles local app data. You then need to find EA within this folder as well. If you can't see it there then that's fine same as the previous folder. But as you can see, I've got a few different options here. I've got EA Connect, EA Desktop, EA Launcher, Electronics Arts, and then I've got an old original backup that I've done for another crashing video, which I will pop a link in the description below. If once you finally get the EA Desktop app to install, then you encounter some crashing issues, then check out that video with more fixes. So again, just go through these folders here and go rename and then just add BK to the end of them. So I'm not actually gonna do this for them all because I can't be bothered. So once you've done that, now go ahead and try and install the EA Desktop app again and see if that resolved the problem. So if that didn't resolve the issue, the next thing that you need to do is go to the installer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my download location where I have the .exe. And as you can see, I've got the EA app installer there. I also have the original better origin setup file, but we can no longer use that. So you need to right click on the EA app installer and you then need to go run as administrator. So once you clicked on this, this is basically going to allow the installer to have some extra privileges, which can help resolve some of those error messages that you get in when trying to install the EA app. So if that didn't help, but you do still have Origin installed on your computer, then uninstall Origin. And you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and going to apps and features. And you then need to just search the list and type in Origin and you then need to select it and go uninstall. It could just be that the EA Desktop app is having a problem trying to upgrade you from Origin to the EA app. So if none of that helped, then the next thing that I'd recommend you give a try is to switch to a different user on your Windows computer, just in case the issue is actually with your user profile. So swap to a different user profile, try and install the EA app. If it installs on that user, then you will still be able to use the EA app on your current user. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.